to show you how to make this adorable little penguin out of a black sock and some fleece and a few accessories. So let's get started. Okay, the things that you're going to need today to make the little penguin is you're going to need a black sock and make sure that it doesn't have a, a label on it, the brand that the sock is. So this is a plain black sock. You'll need some fleece. You will need some ribbon, uh, little eyes. These are buttons with a shank. You'll need those. You'll need twine, small rubber bands, white felt, and orange felt to do the beak. Okay, let's start with the black sock. I've got two cups of rice. The rice has been in the freezer uh, for three days, so we've got that all uh, taken care of. If you're not wanting to use rice, you can use poly pellets, you can try beans, you can try all kinds of things, but I prefer the rice. So again, I've got two cups of rice inside of this plastic cup, and I'm going to put this over and smash it down. Okay, two more cups. So we've got all of our filler inside of our black sock. Just going to kind of smush it down a little bit. Okay, so we've got our rice inside of our sock. We're going to put a small rubber band around it to secure it really quick. Then we're going to reinforce it. here. Tighten it. There we go. Oops. Okay. And cut that. Okay, so there's the little body of our tanqua. I'm going to cut this off. You've got him all ready. Uh, I'm going to take the twine and I'm going to cinch in like around his uh, head right below, so that it divides his body okay okay let's set that aside for a minute oh he's going to be really cute 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 okay set him aside so on the fleece um, I showed you the piece of fleece that I bought and I cut a piece, got it 11 by 9, okay? So what we're going to do, we're going to take and we're going to make a cuff on our hat. So I'm going to take the hot glue gun and I'm going to run a bead of glue all along the edge. Then I'm going to carefully fold it up an inch and press it down. And watch those fingers. Okay, so we're going to roll it one more time so it finishes it off. See, it looks really nice finished off. So we need another bead of glue that goes along the edge here. And roll it about an inch. Okay, let's just make sure that we did that so that it matches. Oh, yep, we're right on. It matches your little hand right there. Okay, just to let you know again what I did. I folded it up one inch and glued it. Then I rolled it again another inch and I glued that. So then I've got this cute little cuff that will be the bottom of your hat to go on your little penguin, okay? So then what we're going to do is we're, I'm going to take and fold it in half this way, okay? So this is, this goes by his little face and this is the top. 
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to fringe the top right now so that, that you've got that at the very top of your little penguin. Um, if you want to measure it, that's always a good idea. Um, let's see, let's go, let's go about two and a half. It's about a fourth of an inch on my little strips right there. When I cut, I try and instead of going little tiny snips, I try to open my scissors as wide as I can and go the full length of the blade. It makes a smoother cut. Let's go right there. And then let's cut this one in half. I might open that up and cut it in half. There we go. Oh, this is going to be so cute with those little snowflakes. Double check to make sure I've got the right amount. Oh, that's going to be perfect. Can you see that I've got about, got about a half an inch right there? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hot glue that right now so that it has a chance to set and um, so it cool the, the glue will cool so that it will stay on the stay together. So I'm going to hot glue that right there. Make sure that this is glued really good right there too. And I'm going to fold it over. Watch your fingers. Okay. Push it down. Okay. So let's put the hat aside and let that cool. And then we'll work on it again. Okay. So remember that we have the white felt and the, the orange felt. So with the white felt, I made a pattern of a heart. What I did is I folded a piece of paper in half and, and made a heart. The heart, let me show you so you can visualize this. The heart is two and a half by uh, one and three fourths, okay? And this is going to be where his little eyes are located. So we have that piece of pattern, and then I did an oval for his tummy. The tummy is three and a fourth by two and three fourths, okay? So I took a pencil and I traced it on my felt and cut it out. And those are the pieces that I have, okay? So then we have our orange felt. This is just a little bit more than a half of an inch. And this is going to be his beak. Now if you fold it so that it is like a, a triangle, it's going to flop open. So what I did, okay, I'm trying to, it's a tiny little piece and I want you to be able to see this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to snip just a little piece out of the center of that. Just a little tiny piece. Can you see the little tiny hole right there? And that is going to help it fold in half so his little beak will look like it's it's open, but it's not like wide open. It's just open just a little bit. So there's his beak. So let's set that right there. Okay. So let's decide where we're going to place, place his little head. This, this section looks like we have a little bit more forehead right there. And then let's see right there. Okay. I think that looks really good. So what, what I've done is there's my twine and I'm going to bring it right down and cover that twine. What you're going to want to do too when you glue it, make sure that your glue is on the very outside of your heart so that the edges stay down. Okay, we're ready to put that down. 
push those edges down, smooth it out so he has a cute little face. All right, the same when we go to do his little tummy. I just need to turn it this way so I make sure that I get his tummy straight. He doesn't want to have a lopsided tummy. Okay. Okay, right on the edge. Again, I'm going to turn it so that I can get it on there, so it's not, whoops, crooked, it's stuck to my finger. Smooth it out, smooth all the edges down. Oh, look how cute he is. Oh, he's going to be really cute. Okay, so, oh, he's coming together really cute. I think he's going to be darling. Okay, so I'm going to set him to the side for a minute. His scarf. So I use the same fleece and I cut the fleece two inches by 19 inches. It might be a little long, but I'd rather cut the, the excess off at the end and not have enough. So I'm gonna fold it in half and I'm going to do, again, you can measure if you want to measure I'm just going to cut some fringe on the end of this scarf. This is going to be so cute. Okay. All right, so on the back, I'm going to fold it into thirds. It just ties better around the back of his head and tuck in those little pieces of twine. I'm going to decide which one I want. What if I want the purple snowflake showing? Oh, it came undone in the back. Let's just tuck that down just a little bit. There. Tuck that down around his little face, too, so I, you can see his little face. Tuck that in. Okay. Bring it to the side. Oh, my gosh. Look how cute he is. I like the purple and the blue together. It looks wintry. Okay, so let's take another little rubber band and bunch up his hat. Oh, that's a cute little hat. Look how cute. Oh, that snowflake. That is perfect. The snowflake went right on the front. Oh, I love that. That's darling. Okay, I'm going to put this elastic around it to, to hold it secure. Let's put it around one more time. Okay, I'm going to take some ribbon and reinforce that rubber band. Let's see, where's my back? I just got to make sure that I put the bow on the front. You could add buttons on the little hat. Uh, you could add snowflakes. Snowflakes would be darling um, to go with this little fabric that has snowflakes on it. Tighten that up. Oops. Yep. Tighten that. Let's cut the. There is his little hat. Look how cute that is. The little pom-pom on top, the little fringes. Okay, so we're ready to add his little hat on his head. Oh, that fits perfect. Let me just turn him around and see what his, oh, I put it down too far. Let's, you wanna be able to see his little, where his little eyes are gonna go. So let's do that. Oh, look how cute. Cute, cute, cute. Okay, we need to add his eyes and his beak. So we're gonna lay him right there. Let's give our two, two little buttons. You could put wiggle eyes on him if that's, if, if you like little wiggle eyes, that would be awesome. He would be cute with little wiggle eyes. Push that down in. The little beak that we cut, you just kind of squish it in half there a little bit. Kind of help it 
Okay, be careful with the hot glue in your fingers. I tend to get carried away and get my fingers stuck in there with that glue. And it's hot. Okay, I'm gonna put his little beak right there under his eyes. Push it down. Oh my goodness. What a cutie. And you have a little winter penguin. So here he is all completed. Look how darling he is with that cute little winter hat on. I love the colors. He turned out so cute. And I really appreciate you watching. If you like it, uh, make sure to press like, subscribe, and I'll see you soon.